Hello everyone, this is Lisa again with today's video. We will be learning about how to deploy the Senso extension to your Chromebooks using the Google Admin Console. You will need to make sure that your Chromebooks that you are going to use this method to deploy are managed Chromebooks within the Google Admin Console. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. You will need to make sure to log into your Google Admin Console with an administrative account. Go to Devices, Chrome Management, and then from Chrome Management, we're going to go to User and Browser Settings. Once we are within the User and Browser Settings, choose the organizational unit that you are going to deploy out to. You need to make sure that the user accounts that you want this to be deployed out to are contained within this organizational unit. Once within user settings for the organizational unit that your users are contained within, you will want to search settings and go to manage. We're looking for the apps and extensions area. Once within the apps and extensions area, you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Senso.cloud. We are in the Web Store. Once you have found Senso Client, go ahead and add it and make sure you click save. If you have uh, allowed apps and extensions turned on where you block all apps and extensions, make sure that you add the Senso extension into the allowed list and then make sure you click save at the bottom. Once you have done that, the next part, we are going to go back to device manage our device Chrome management within Chrome management. This time we're going to look for app management. Once we are within the app management, you will want to select the organizational unit that we have been working within currently. Search for the Senso client or find the Senso client in the list of apps and click on the text Senso client that will take you into the settings for this extension. Once within this extension, we're going to go to user settings, select the OU that we are working within, and we're going to select allow installation, force installation, and it's up to you if you want to turn on pin to taskbar. Then you want to upload the underneath configure your JSON file. Uh, you may have to click inherited to turn on this part so that you can upload that file. You will find additional videos on our playlist of how to find your configuration file, how to edit your configuration file. That is the .json file that you are going to be uploading there to configure the information that's getting pushed out to those users on those Chromebooks. For each of your OUs, you can create a different configuration file so that they deploy out to different sites. Again, that will be gone over in those additional videos. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you. See you later.